friends. Hi 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 friends. Welcome back to my channel. I am so so excited to say I am announcing that this is my one year anniversary on YouTube. I cannot believe it's been a year. I feel like it has flown by, but I also think that a lot of hard work has gone into this channel. I am so grateful for all of you. I am just amazed and floored every time I post a video and so many people show so much support and love and likes and watch videos. I'm, I am just so grateful. December 4th was technically the first day I uploaded a video. I have actually, like, I think according to YouTube, had a channel since 2015 because I set up a Gmail account, but I didn't actually post my first video until December 4th. And even though today is December 3rd, I wanted to post this because I'm like, I can't believe it's been a year. I cannot believe it feels like it's flown by, but it also feels like a lot of hard work and a lot of evolution has happened on this channel. So I kind of thought it would be fun to go down memory lane and kind of remember and review, God, some of the embarrassing first videos and kind of see how my channel's evolved with cameras, lighting, style of my videos, all of it. So I kind of thought this would be fun and embarrassing. You know, I just like to do that because I'm crazy. So the first video I uploaded on December 4th of 2016 was a channel trailer. I know a lot of channels have been doing that in 2016 and 2015, so I was like, oh, that's a great introduction. I should do that. And, uh, it was okay. <laughs> brand new YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here and for watching this intro. I just wanted to take a few minutes to introduce you to me and my new channel and hopefully you'll come back and watch more. So that video is really uncomfortable and a little awkward. I was so nervous. I had been an actor for years and when you're playing a character you're not like talking to a camera as yourself. It's definitely a different dynamic but I was like prepping for that video like oh I'm gonna ace this right out the gate. That took so many takes and so many, I don't know, effort trials of that. And it was, do I, do I film it back there? Do I film it up here? Do I film it at this angle? I was still trying to figure out the best lighting because I'm in a room with one window. I was trying to figure out the background. I was trying to figure out camera settings. It was kind of a mess, but I can look back on it now and be like, you wanted this. You were trying so hard. To do your best and even though it's a little awkward to watch and I don't feel very organic on camera I feel very like I don't know what to say to a bunch of strangers on the internet it's it's interesting to see and how about that purple hair I kind of miss my purple hair sometimes because I think it's a lot of fun and it was just in pieces and kind of like hidden a little bit but obvious if I did certain styles hi friends and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be opening my boxy charm okay this is the big guy I'd heard about this one Pure Cosmetics Buff Collection Eyeshadow Collection. So excited. So I did my first BoxyCharm video in the same style I had always seen everybody else that I watched YouTube videos do it back in December. And I only had a ring light at that time and it was December in the Midwest so it was really dark by even 5 p.m. So I was rushing home trying to get this in so I could have a little bit of lighting and it just looks really dark and I was still like looking up over here. I was kind of angling myself the edits. I was trying to learn how to edit at the time and I was like the edits weren't great. But I was definitely giving it an effort for sure. And it was mostly just kind of like a swatch test, kind of like how you see most people do and kind of give reviews of it. But I didn't know what to review. I didn't know how, I didn't know the verbiage at the time. I didn't know the best ways to explain myself or express how I felt about makeup and also kind of felt insecure. Like, I don't know the, if I'm even the right person to ask about this. So it, this has definitely been an evolution for me. All right, all right, I wasn't, I don't know if I should bring up this video or not because it's kind of the black sheep of my videos. When I very first started on YouTube, I didn't know what to post and I didn't know what my channel was going to be. I didn't know how it was going to evolve into more of a beauty and lifestyle channel. And I posted a video that I still kind of cringe thinking about, but I have not deleted it because it's part of my journey right now. I've not hidden it and it has, 
It's my second most popular video, so it kind of makes me cringe even more knowing that. And it is the scammy website experience video. Yeah, you're not making this easy for me to give you my money, so I'm not going to give you any money. Done. End of it. Over it. And they said, you submitted a bad review. Please keep us updated if you change your mind. And I'm like, why the fuck would I change my mind? How you... I don't want this to happen to somebody else. You know what I mean? The seller who forgot I existed for about two weeks to send my product wanted to know why I gave him such a bad review and he never said that he wanted to switch my payment forms to PayPal. Please change my review. I get so much shit about that video and it was one of my first videos so I'm just gonna say I was uncomfortable on camera, I didn't know what to talk about, and I didn't know, again, the best ways to express myself. So that video was explaining that my husband Adam and I were going on a vacation, going on a trip, and I kind of wanted to surprise him with a fake, and I knew it was fake, Louis Vuitton handbag because he had never had one. And as I was checking out, another handbag popped up that I was like, oh, for like, I don't know, 40 bucks or whatever, I'll get that, take it with me on the trip and not have to worry about ruining my good real bags. Just glossing over this because I'm still uncomfortable talking about it. My point of that video was to tell you the sellers are scammy. One of them tried to keep my money until I finally got iOffer involved, but you can't just email iOffer. You have to tweet them 17 different times or something crazy to get their attention, and then they have to trigger the seller by threatening their account. It's very shady. It's all just not great for the customer. That was my point of making that video. And so many people think it's about the crappy handbag. And it's kind of the, because of the thumbnail, because I didn't know what I was doing. Because it says like it's a rant about the fake handbag. It is a rant about the fake handbag, but it's also a rant about how terrible the customer service was to get the fake handbag that I knew was fake. So, the fact that it has almost 10,000 views at this moment while I'm filming kind of makes me a little itchy because I'm like, God, that video is like, like my third or fourth video but people are misunderstanding and I've even pinned a comment at the top being like guys I knew it was fake the point of this is to let you know buying from them is so terrible because they tried to steal your money even if you know it's a crappy pair of shoes that aren't real or even if no matter what the item is you may have a struggle with the seller was my purpose of putting that video out there but you know how the internets are it got very misconstrued even though it has a shit ton of views the comments have slowed down, luckily, because I'm just like, do I need to, like, disable those comments? Because no one's actually watching the video, and that's the thing. It's like, a lot of people see the hype, they start the video, and they're like, oh, this bitch don't know what she's talking about. Leave a nasty comment, get out of it, thumbs down, whatever. I don't really care, because it was one of my first videos. It's still part of my evolution, but I didn't know if I should bring that up or not, but I'm just going to throw it out there. I know that it was a fake, crappy handbag. I was buying it intentionally as a joke for me and my husband. The crappy part was the fact that I offer tries to steal your money because of the sellers and then I offer has shitty customer service and you can't get a hold of anyone that was my point everybody can stop hating on it now okay let me just talk about my YouTube girl pal Sam Bam 89 and that massive swap this is my most viewed video and it is the massive first swap and I'm going to also be addressing things that have been said in the comments in that video as of this moment while I'm filming it it has 10,000 plus views um, which is kind of exciting because that was such a fun video to do with Sam and we had messaged each other, agreed we wanted to do a collaboration video, and we wanted to do something that was fun and exciting, so we decided on a swap. And the swap, we also talked about things that we both loved, things that we wanted to learn more about, things we wanted to use, maybe products we hadn't tried. We were just going to set a budget of about $75 to $100 to send to each other. Sam is in Canada, I am in the U.S. So we kind of took each other's notes of what each liked, what they didn't like, blah, blah, blah went to the store, we were messaging back and forth and being like, oh, I'm so excited to send this. So when we finally had the swap, you saw mine on camera, I was beyond blown away and beyond grateful and just humbled by the love she gave in that video because I didn't read the whole note because it was a private note to me and I didn't want to do, read that without her permission. But what she had said in that, that note was that she had appreciated all of the love and support I had given her channel that I had commented on videos, kind of say, I said if you need any help with anything let me know, we talked about editing, things like that, and she wanted to thank me. She wasn't trying to show off by giving an excessive amount of makeup and going over budget, but she wanted to thank me for just being a friend, and that was her way of doing that in a way that a beauty lover would, would be like, oh my god! 
So she wasn't trying to show off and I wasn't being a cheap ass because I got some comments being like, you gave her like cheap ass makeup. You only gave her like a hundred dollars worth of makeup and she sent you so much nice quality MAC products, all these things. That was not expected and I even reached out to her and said, girl, I have to give you more. And in that video, you hear me say over and over and over, I have to send you more. We have to do a round two. And I reached out to her privately and she actually said, please do not. I did this because I wanted to thank you. You've been a good friend. You have given me support. This isn't about the products. It's not about the items. It's just about gratitude and friendship. That's what this is about. So when I do get a nasty comment on that video, I delete it because honestly, there was no negative intention on her part and there was no negative intention on my part. It was just a fun little swap and she surprised me. She said she went overboard. She did it intentionally and I would just express my gratitude in so many ways to her and I've dedicated a video to her because she introduced me to so much Colourpop that I had never tried. If you've not seen that video, I will link it up above, but if you leave a nasty comment, I'm gonna delete it because she had no negative intentions and neither did I. It was just two friends enjoying a fun internet swap. Today, I'm going to be doing the April Boxy Charm. What's in the box? Getting into my later boxy charm videos, which is how so many of you found my channel, was really organically. I hadn't really strategized how can I be different with with YouTube and boxy charm, but I do have a marketing background and an acting background, so I do kind of think about my audience and I think about what's a need or a problem. Well, I'm a consumer as well as the YouTuber, so I sat there and I opened one of my boxes and <laughs> I got this like cognac sponge or something and I really wanted the other product that I knew BoxyCharm was sending out in it. I believe this was like in the January box and I was just so disappointed while I was opening it and I was just like screw it I'm gonna go online and see what people are talking about and I'm gonna see what people are saying and so many people wanted that product over the other one that I thought I wanted that honestly I don't even remember what it is now that I was like oh okay, this makes me feel better. Does this make you guys feel better? And as I kept doing those type of videos where I was essentially finding out what other people were saying about the products, if they tried them, if they liked them, just like I do videos now, it helped me, but it helped you guys. It filled a need for you guys. So that's where they started evolving. And then I started doing the wear trials for a while so I could give you in more depth reviews. And it just keeps snowballing where I keep adding to them from there. And this is what really seems to have been become the niche of my channel, along with other beauty and lifestyle things. But that seems to be something, and I'd like to do unique videos, obviously. So that's kind of where that started for my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys so much for being part of my first year on YouTube. I feel so grateful to have this amazing, strong community. I reach out and talk to you guys on Snapchat, Instagram, and in the comments below. I just can't wait to see where this next year goes. But if you're new to my channel or if you want to share this video with other friends so we can make more friends, I hope you guys enjoy these weird, fun, unique videos. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I think that really helps us to make new friends on the internets. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye friends. 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 Bye friends.